What's up guys, Sam and back with a throwback review. Today we're taking a look at a retro figure by McFarlane Toys. This is the 1997 Spawn based off of the film action figure set. So what are they what are they calling this? They're calling this the graveyard play set. So these are miniature figures. They're not your seven inch scale McFarlane figures. So he did some play sets. I know he did some horror play sets as well. I don't own any of the horror play sets. I do want to pick those up though, but he did do some play sets for the spawn film. I own several of these. Um, you can see here on the back of the packaging. Let me raise the camera up a little bit more. So he did one over here. This is the final battle. I do have that. I think I might have done a review on that one. This is a really cool one. And then you have the spawn alley. I don't own this set, but I do own that Violator figure, which is really, really cool. And then you have the Graveyard scene, which we're going to look at today. And I always love looking at the back of these cards because it was always like a checklist for me on like, well, you know, what figures I wanted to pick up. And I own most of the movie Spawn figures as far as everything else goes on the back. Not Okay, so, okay, here's the monster ones. Now, no, these weren't the playset ones, but um, yeah, so they did do playsets for some of the monster ones. So this is really cool. Uh, this is just brings so much memories. I think I got this. Where did I get this? But oh, I got it at Mighty Pins. I think I got this for like $10, which is not a bad price. It's got the big old clamshell or, or bubble packaging here. You got the Spawn movie poster here. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was cool for what it was. I remember as a kid going and seeing the movie uh, with my friends the first time and then I saw it again. I think I, I think I thought I saw it in theaters twice. Um, so it says press down on Tombstone to pop apart coffin and reveal Al Simmons corpse. So let's open this up. Let's see if this is a pickup or a pass. I mean, this is back in 1997. So let's see. Let's see how it holds up today. So this does come with a little bit of instructions just to show you how the playset works. All right, guys, so there's a lot of accessories that come in this set. So I'm going to show you everything that comes in. Um, there is a little bit of assembly required, but it's really easy. So you do get this tree right here. Now, the tree, again, is going to peg into the, um, the base itself. But you can see it's got, you know, some really cool detailing on it. And there's the back of it. And you can see the branches and everything. There's no leaves on it, but it's pretty cool. And then you also get this other piece of, you know, the tree. And this one is just basically going to peg in on the top. I think it's this one because it's got different holes. It's right here. So this actually just attaches to the tree just to give it, you know, an extra little piece to it. So you get that. You also get the shovel here and the handle is made out of like bones. And then you have the, uh, which looks to be, this is the clown's face. If I remember correctly from the film. Die. Dig it. That's a really nice attention to detail. There's a the back of the shovel. So you do get this really cool shovel. You also get a blade that the clown holds, aka Violator. This is really, really awesome. I do like this. It's very sharp too, so just careful with it. But it's got some pretty cool little detailing on it. And then you also get a goat's head here. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a ritual of some kind. It's got a, uh, a like a little you know, slash right in the top of the skull. And I don't, I'm just wondering if that's where the blade can, you can place the blade on. I'm, I'm assuming you can, I don't, I don't remember if that was in the movie or not, because there was some devil worshipers there when they, uh, before, before spawn and the clown, you know, appeared at the graveyard scene, but, Hail Satan, Lord of all that we can but this is pretty cool. I think that's what that's for though, but this is really nice. You got the goat's head, the little skull. It's got some little like red little stuff on there. So that's pretty awesome. You got the horns there. And then you also get a piece of Al Simmons tombstone. This is broken off. It says Lieutenant Colonel Al Simmons. You got the uh, crucifix right on top. So it's a piece of uh, broken tombstone there. And then as far as the characters go, we have Al Simmons here, which looks really awesome. And look at the green eyes. McFarlane did a great job on these. I wish we'd have continued making smaller figures. Like I, this would have been really awesome if he did these with the Batmans. But you can see like this is where, I think this is where the the spawn, the spawn suit is actually starting to come out. But look, at you can see some blood in there. The, the, the shirt's all torn and he's all burned up. Look at that. Look how great this is. Just really loaded with detail. And the head sculpt looks awesome. You got the green eyes. Very, very nice. Really nice detailing on such a small little figure. The burnt hands. And the same thing, you got the jeans, his shoes. And you can see some more burnt skin on there and the pants. And you can see some of the black suit going over his regular clothing. Now, this guy does have a little bit of articulation. The hands can, they just have a swivel. The head can actually rotate. 
the legs go forward and back and i think that's it there's no waist articulation so you get this little guy right here absolutely love that head sculpt I and mean, when you see it in person you can see it's a lot it's a lot more detailed uh, you can see almost see like the white part of the mask appearing on the uh on the head so we have him and then we have clown with played by john lake Wazamo, and i don't think this guy gets enough credit for his you know the way the way he portrayed clown i mean i thought he did a fantastic job especially the makeup they really really did a great job and um yeah it's crazy that john Leguizano played him so you got the fuzzy hair you know it's like material there you got the crazy little head sculpt there which i think looks fantastic the red eyes the makeup looks great you got the wrinkles again really really detailed for a small figure you have his uh lock you know necklace here the striped shirt the pale skin the leather jacket with the flames on it and the little stones on the back his big old purple pants all baggy and belt so really cool he's also got some articulation he's got some rotation in the head sculpt and the hands have swivels nothing in the legs and no waist articulation and like i said you can actually have him hold on to the the blade now it does look a little oversized let me see if i can do this here it is a little bit oversized but he can hold on to this blade so it's really up to you if you want to display him like that and then you get the really awesome base and it does have a little play feature on it so this is where you're going to attach the tree and let me show you the ground so you can see some rocks some roots parts of the tree show you guys the sides here here is the bottom of it and then you have the coffin right here which is going to reveal the corpse of al simmons you got the crucifix and there's the other half of the tombstone it says he died a patriot so the tombstone actually just goes on here just attaches it doesn't stay on perfectly but it's meant to it's meant to fall off so what you do is you push this down and then check this out it reveals al simmons there dead look at that you even got the necklace in there and you can see the body bag how awesome is that Try to get you more of a close-up here so you can see that. Look at that. You got to admit, that's really, really cool. Oh, he did such a great job. So that's a cool little feature that it has. You can just push this open, and then it reveals Al Simmons' body. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you have the shovel. Look at that. This just fell down. It doesn't stay perfectly on there. And I think the tree actually kind of hides this branch. The attachment kind of hides the tombstone. All right, correction, guys. There's actually two places where you can peg the, the top of the branch. So you have this one here. You can peg it. And when you do that, it's going to kind of cover the tombstone. But you can peg this one actually right there on the top of it. So, again, it gives you a variety of where you can peg the, the, uh, the top of the branch. So you can see right here, this one doesn't really go over... To the tombstone where we can't read what it says so just know that guys um, but it's not sitting on there perfectly and then like the little spawn character you can just place them like i said right there if you really wanted to is he going to stand not too sure and then the clown you can just place anywhere by look at that they just fall by the tree i'm not even going to place them on here i think this is just a really cool little setup like a little display piece and then the figures they do stand perfect on their own, so I think I'm just going to display them, you know, side by side. You can see the size comparison with them. Um, again, this is really cool. It's a nice little playset. You do get a little bit of accessories, you know, the goat's head, the uh, the shovel with the clown's face on it, and then plus you get the really awesome clown here, which looks fantastic. Absolutely love the sculpting on these little guys. And then you get Al Simmons, with you can see the the spawn outfit is tearing through him, and then um, the really cool little base with the feature there that reveals al simmons body but that's about it guys if you guys want to see more reviews on old school spawn figures let me know in the comments down below or leave some recommendations of what old mcfarland figures you want me to review because i can even do some re-reviews i have so many old school mcfarland figures and i'm sure a lot of you guys would love to see um and yeah just let me know in the comments down below if this is a pickup is it a pass did you own any of these play sets? If so, what do you think about them? And not only that, did you guys like the Spawn movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up the video. We will see you soon for more reviews. Later, guys. Here's Clowny. <laughs> Who's gonna kill you?